Details on where coming up on News 8 next. Live from West Michigan's news leader, this is 24 Hour News 8. A new owner and a new season, but the same old problem. Eight. Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's news leader, Susan Shaw, Tom Van Howe, meteorologist Craig James, and Jack Doles with sports. 24 Hour News 8 continues. They are some of our best and our brightest. Gifted. You're watching WOTV, ABC 41, Cable Channel 4. Some local militia members are up in arms over what this pipeline is pumping into an area creek. Three more people are charged with being involved in a southwestern Michigan pyramid scheme. I'm Melissa Blasius, and I'll have a live report coming up. Good evening, and thanks for joining us this Wednesday. I'm Romaine Buck. And I'm Tim Malone. It's a battle over a pipeline that brought 50 law enforcement officers face-to-face for Battle Creek and Kalamazoo, this is your local news with Tim Malone and Romaine Buck. Local weather with Pam Lamb and sports highlights with Ken Hyde on 41 News. News from where you live. Welcome back, everyone. As we first told you several weeks ago... For Battle Creek and Kalamazoo, this is your local news with Romaine Buck and Ethan Forehead's local weather with Pam Land and sports highlights with Ken Hyde on 41 News, news from where you live. Welcome back. There were mangled cars and bodies all over Detroit Road early this morning. You're watching Channel 3, where news comes first. This is News 3 at noon. Campaign 2000 takes a swing through West Michigan. Vice President Al Gore steps into a Republican stronghold line of duty. Hello, West Michigan. Thanks for joining us today for News 3 at Noon. I'm Mary Eileen Lyon. It's considered a traditional Republican... Covering all of South Texas, this is KIII's 3 Eyewitness News, consistently the number one rated newscast, with Joe Gazin, Maclovio Pedez Weather, and Dan McReynolds Sports. A protest in Kingsville today over some shocking comments allegedly made by a police officer. A Texas prison inmate gets even more time behind bars following a local trial and byproducts of the Army's chemical weapons may be closer than you think. Good evening, everyone. Those stories and more in just a moment, but first... You're watching KIII's 3 Eyewitness News. Again, thanks to you, number one rated in South Texas. Stop wondering. Three, three news anchor, Joe Gazin. When a news story breaks, people automatically turn to Channel 3. You expect us to be there. For over 35 years, 3 News has never let you down. You want to know what happened and why. You're curious. You want to be an eyewitness. And every day, we work harder and move faster to get to the bottom of the stories. Cover it now. Cover it better. That's what we do. When news happens, turn to the station you trust. Turn to 3 News tonight. Depend on us. This is KZTV Channel 10. Covering the news first throughout South Texas. The city of Corpus Christi could be preparing to sue the builders of the Mary Rose Pipeline. The story leads our news tonight. Good evening. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm Nicole Henrich with your late edition of KZTV 10 News. Glad to have you with us this Monday. Well, the Mary Rose Pipeline is still... Now, live, you're watching Channel 3, where news comes first. This is News 3 at 5. Hello, West Michigan, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Judy Marquis. And I'm Jamie Bull. Jennifer Moss is off tonight. First at five, one of Battle Creek's best-known civil rights activists, are like gates. When the bus stops to let the kids on and off that bus, the gates... Now, live, you're watching Channel 3, where news comes first. This is News 3 at 6. Hello, West Michigan, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Judy Marquis. And I'm Jamie Bull. First at six tonight... Now, live, you're watching Channel 3, where news comes first. This is News 3 at 11. Hello, West Michigan. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Jamie Bull. And I'm Judy Marquis. First at 11... 
Wild Animals, NBC Nightly News tonight. Live from West Michigan's News Leader, this is 24 Hour News 8. Good morning. Grand Rapids police are trying to find out. Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's News Leader, Brian Sterling, meteorologist Terry DeBoer, and Ann Schieber with a morning market watch. 24 Hour News 8 continues. And welcome back. Officials say at least six people have survived a plane crash. Leonard. Live from West Michigan's News Leader, this is 24 Hour News 8. Talking on the phone in Michigan will cost you less. Live from Wood TV 8, West Michigan's News Leader, Linda White, Larry Neenhaus, Heather Herron, Jerry Barnaby, and meteorologist Terry DeBoer. 24-hour News 8 continues. Nice to have you back with us. Do they really work? We'll have the results of one woman's treatment. Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. You're watching Fox 17 News at 10 for Monday, July 17th, 2000. A man wanted for molesting a six-year-old girl is behind bars tonight after police received the tip they were looking for. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Monty Knight. And I'm Michelle DeSelms. First on Fox 17 News at 10, a big break tonight in a story we first told you about over the week. You're watching Fox 17 News at 10 with Monty Knight, Michelle DeSelms, weather with Peter Chan, and sports with Brent Ashcroft. Looking up. A lot of people try different products. From Grand Rapids and along the lake shore, you're watching WZZM 13 News. Good morning, West Michigan. It is Tuesday, July 11th. Welcome to the Morning News. I'm Chris Paul. And I'm Lauren Stanton. It is 530, 62 degrees. From Grand Rapids and along the lakeshore, you're watching WZZM 13 News at noon. More orange cones will soon be going up around downtown Grand Rapids. That cycle on Chicago Drive in Genesis. You're watching Lauren Stanton, Chris Paul, and Linda Page on WZZM 13 News. Take a look at this now. Rain, hail, funnel clouds, and lots of lightning. Beauty, Tuesday at 5 on WZZM 13. 13 on target weather. Voted best weather cast by the Michigan Association of Broadcasters. Thanks for watching. And I'm Tracy Forner. The news starts now. From Grand Rapids and along the lakeshore, you're watching WZZM 13 News at 5.30. I just can't imagine that it would even be a... You're watching Kim Covington, Tracy Forner, and Bill Steffen on WZZM 13 News. Well, take a look at that. From Grand Rapids and along the lakeshore, you're watching WZZM 13 News at 6. Well, it's a necessary evil. You're watching Juliet Dragas, Lee Vanamy, and Bill Steffen on WZZM 13 News. In news about Kent County, a... You're watching Tom Helmer on WZZM 13 Sports. Notre Dame is now looking for a head basketball coach. That from Grand Rapids and along the lakeshore, you're watching WZZM 13 News at 11. Neighbors say it's an eyesore and it's been this way for two years. You're watching Juliet Dragas, Lee Vanamy, and Bill Steffen on WZZM 13 News. Hey, this is Bill Steffen once again. <laughs> 
You're watching Channel 3, where news comes first. This is News 3 at 6. There are only 11 target distribution centers in the country. Now, when... Talking about a school voucher proposal that will appear on the November... This is WBZ TV 4. Boston's choice for news and information. You are watching WBZ 4 News on Boston's television station. Good evening, I'm Joe Shortsley. New at 11, a Lowell toddler is alive and his family is celebrating. Ford dealers. This portion of WBZ4 News is brought to you by your New England Ford dealers. Now, WBZ4 News. Well, on tonight's Survivor, one more contestant. Yeah. Each year, only one television station is chosen by the nation's news professionals as America's number one local news. Quality coverage and in-depth reporting have earned WBZ4 News the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Best Local News in America. WBZ4 News. WBZ means news. It's the biggest event of the summer. Live coverage all day long. The Tall Ships Parade of Sail, July 11th on WBZ4 News. Now, WBZ4 Sports. The Red Sox rampage at the Metrodome continued tonight as they banged out 11 runs. Now, coverage you can count on. This is News Center 5. Marty McLean traveling to New traveling to New York is about to get a lot easier for people in Worcester County. We'll tell you why coming up in a live report. I've in Worcester. Marty McLean, News Center Five. Let's. All right, Marty. Thank you. One man is dead. Thank you, Marty. Oh, hi, Liz. Continuing on with other stories, as Ed just mentioned, one man is dead. <laughs> Seven News is brought to you in part by Spenco Second Skin. Take comfort in Spenco. This is Seven News with Christy Kim, Jonathan Hall, and Todd Gross with Weather on the news station. Welcome back. Some local sailing enthusiasts are teaming up to give children. You are watching Seven News on the news station. Published reports indicate the city of Boston's latest offer. You Watching 7 News on the news station. We begin this half hour with breaking news. You're watching News Center 5 at 5. Coverage you can count on with Chet Curtis, Natalie Jacobson, and meteorologist Dick Albert. Now, News Center 5 continues. President Clinton is continuing the effort tonight. Several people injured after a North Reading construction site collapse. Now, coverage you can count on. This is News Center 5. Now at 5.30, seven workers are hurt when a wall collapses at a home under renovation in North Reading. Flight attendants fed up with furious passengers demonstrate at Logan and other airports across the country. Tennis fans in Boston watch the sister versus sister Wimbledon matchup of Venus and Serena Williams. And he may be ugly, but he's harmless. So why are some people in the back bay afraid of this bug? Good evening, new at 5.30 tonight. Something went terribly... You're watching News Center 5 at 5.30. Coverage you can count on with Heather Kahn, Anthony Everett, meteorologist Dick Albert, and Mike Lynch on sports. Now, News Center 5 continues. More chilling. SJC puts the Senate hopeful back on the ballot. She's written a book on privacy. But now Caroline Kennedy Schlossberg is about to take center stage in one of politics' biggest shows. Live from WHDH-TV Boston, this is 7 News at 6 on the news station. 
strong storm struck the Bay State, and heavy rains causing some flooding in some areas. Parts of Massachusetts remain under a thunderstorm watch until 7 p.m. tonight. Good evening, everyone. Harvey Leonard's been tracking these storms, which have brought a bit of hail in some spots. We get the latest now from the 7 Weather Center. Har this is 7 News with Kim Kerrigan, Randy Price, Harvey Leonard with weather, and Gene Levanti with sports on the news station. A well-known Kennedy will speak at next month's Democratic National Convention. Now, 7 Weather with Harvey Leonard. Well, it's been an eventful afternoon in many parts of our area. The news is next, and we're going to see tonight at 11. We're on after Will and Grace. Jennings. I'm Rick Sanchez. Two hours of 7 News beginning right now. Live from the news station, this is 7 News at 5. He may have lost his legs in a terrible accident, but this sheriff's deputy hasn't lost his determination. Team bid all season. Steve Shapiro, 7 Video Sports. You are watching 7 News at 5 with Rick Sanchez and Lori Jennings. 7 News, brought to you in part by Papa John's Pizza. Store. This is quite a scare in the circus, suddenly. When but is pulling this one in off the satellite for us tonight. Lisa? Well, we all know they call it the greatest show on Earth, but last night the show took a very shocking twist as a big top blaze... Have to agree. From WXIA TV in Atlanta, you are watching 11 Live News at 11. Where is where is the shot? In the Very strong, and uh, you know we did a lot of things that we were proud of. Good evening, I'm Tom Atkins, and this is the news. We'll have details of all today's news coming up. 11. You're watching KSTW Northwest 11. Now, with the first news for Western Washington, this is the 10 o'clock news. Batten down the hatches, a wild windstorm whips through Western Washington, knocking out power to more than 100,000 people. You're watching the news beat at 6 with Emily King and Ruth Spencer, Van Roo Wright Sports, and Chuck Gatica's Big Picture Forecast. Closed captioning is... This is no Hollywood blockbuster. This is a real-life storm, and tonight, it's knocked thousands of homes and lives off their foundations. We'll have the very latest next on Fox 2 Eyewitness News at 10. Why did the sister of a murdered Oakland County eye doctor take a lie detector test? She'll tell you. You've heard warnings about the dangers of not using sunscreen, but do you know how to pick the right one and how to apply it? I'm Fox 2 health reporter Kay Lowry, and I'll have that story coming up. And having your car stolen can be expensive, especially if the police find it. The Hall of Shame is on the case this Wednesday, May 29th, 1996. This is Fox 2 Eyewitness News at 10. They can be stronger than a hurricane. They hit with little or no warning, and they're killers. The people of one Kentucky county came face to face with a twister. It wrecked their houses, but they escaped with their lives. 
Good evening. I'm Micah Materian for Hugh Perkins. And I'm Rich Fisher. Thanks for being with us tonight. National Guard troops are on duty in Kentucky guarding against looting in a county just... The number of people dying of skin cancer is climbing at an alarming rate. And now, the facts tell the story. From the news team voted the best in Michigan. This is TV2 Eyewitness News, Weekend Division. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining KTLA News with live cameras in the air and on the ground. KTLA covers Southern California with the news live on five. Bob Arthur, Tom Snyder, Joseph. KTLA camera crews rush to you each night the news of this day on News Picture 530. Republican senatorial candidate George Murphy spoke to the California Federation. Of WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. From WCCO Television, the Northwest's leading news station, this is the 10 p.m. report. Good evening, everyone. Six people are in custody tonight after a drug raid last night in Austin, Minnesota. With Paul Major, Diana Pierce, Jeff Passold Sports, and meteorologist Paul Douglas. I want to point out that they have... Dozens of inmates finally surrender after an 11-day uprising at an Ohio prison. While that surrender drags to a close, another prison uprising erupts on the East Coast. Good evening. Prison officials in Connecticut needed help from the State Patrol and others to stop a prison uprising tonight. Join us now. You're watching today's WCCO television with Don Shelby and Cindy Hilger. This is the 6 o'clock news on Channel 4. Good evening. Tonight we have learned more about the final moments as a nephew took his dying. KCAL 9 voted America's best local news. Now. Time for the Southland's most complete local news hour. KCAL 9 News, California reporting. A busy night for police. Jacksonville's landscape is changing. A new voice is springing up. ABC Channel 25 is building a new home and a new image that will put you in touch with Jackson. And I'm Marcia Leidendorf. Uh, Peter Jennings and World News Tonight are up next, and please join us again at 11. in television history. See! Music! You want to know! See the world's one million dollar chance of a lifetime. Weeknights at 730. Now at 104%. Challenger, go and throttle up. The space shuttle Challenger is destroyed just a little more than one minute after liftoff. A minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, 9 nautical. All seven astronauts on board are killed. From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Tonight, reporting from Washington. It is the worst disaster in the history of the American space program, and President Reagan has declared a week of mourning for the seven astronauts at his... This is an ABC News special. The shuttle, disaster in space. Reporting from Washington, here is Peter Jennings. What we're going to try to do in the next hour. Live from 
ABC 25. Bruce Hamilton, Karen Adams. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brian Albrecht and Sports Blitz with Barry LeBron. You're watching ABC 25 News at 6. You're watching ABC 25 WJXX. It's called a simulcast. 12 news airing on both stations at the same time during typical newscast hours. And I'll be a part of it. So look for me now on 12 news on both channels, including 12 news at 7 on ABC 25. And watch for the launch of First Coast News coming soon. In the meantime, please pardon our dust. ABC 25, your first coast news. You're watching 12 News, your first coast news. With Patricia Crosby and Steve Smith's weather, this is 12 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Patricia Crosby. Hope you're having a happy St. Patrick's today. The day is certainly a happy one for sailors and families. You're watching 12 News, your first coast news. With Jeannie Blaylock, Alan Cheney, Chief Meteorologist Tim Deegan, and 12 on your side's Ken Amaro. This is 12's First News at 5. Well, one fantastic finish in the NCAA tournament this day. 12 News Sports Director Dan Haken is live at the Legends of Golf tonight. And Dan? From your First Coast News, this is 12 News at 6. New information in the case is being built against a kidnapping suspect tonight. Good evening, I'm Jeannie Blaylock. And I'm Alan Janae. Tonight, we know more. You're watching ABC 25, your first coast news. 12 minutes of non-stop news and weather is starting right now. Good evening, I'm Donna Hicken. Listen to Action News in your car. 87.7 at... News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Scott Palmer, Dave Roberts, Lisa Thomas Laurie, and Mark Howard. A fast food restaurant is robbed by two masked gunmen. They tied up. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Gary Papa, Dave Roberts, and Jim Gardner. Thursday night, Pennsylvania State Police are looking for a flasher who targets children. <laughs> the World News Tonight is next on Channel 6. Action News continues at 11. Now for Scott Palmer, Cecily Tynan, Gary Papa, Dave Roberts, the entire Action News team, I'm Jim Gardner. We hope you'll join us at 11 o'clock tonight. From Channel 6, this has been Action News, the most watched news program in the Delaware Valley. When you see news happening, call the Action News tip line by dialing News 6. In New Jersey, dial 966-6666 or call our regional news bureaus. Closed captioning is brought to you by Verizon Communications. It has happened again without warning. Three Philadelphia row houses came crashing down and are in ruins tonight. In Philadelphia's public schools, prepare to go on strike. We'll have the latest on the contract negotiations. And Firestone has more problems facing it while it's deep into its major tire recall. Those stories plus will tell you which colleges are tops in the nation. WB17 News at 10 starts right now. This is WB17 News at 10. The pilot of an F-16 Air Force jet is a survivor. He was able to safely parachute from his jet just before it plunged into the ocean off the Jersey coast. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tony Yates. And I'm Steve Highsmith. A dramatic and safe ending tonight for an F-16 pilot on a train. From NJN Public Television, New Jersey's only statewide television newscast, NJN News with Kent Manahan. A spectacular fire in Edgewater guts a condominium construction site, destroying homes and cuts power to thousands of residents.
Talks continue as Philadelphia public school teachers vote to authorize a strike. Thanks for watching your Neighborhood Connection, Philly TV News. I'm Maurice Brown. Well, we're standing room only at the LaCora Center this morning. Channel 7. And you don't need cable. Free TV News. The old fashioned way. Philly TV News. Your news and neighborhood connection. Philly TV News 51. Philadelphia's news and neighborhood connection. This is the news team that'll bring you the neighborhoods of the city into your living room. Experience it. Live it. ready to show you our new home, and we're pretty proud of it. Here are headlines of the world. Here's the 11 p.m. report, the latest report of the day's news, weather, and sports, with Don Richards, John Douglas, and Dan Daniels. Very pleasant good evening to you all. Don Richards reporting, and here's the news tonight. This is the weekend edition of the 10 o'clock news with Marsha Bonhart and Elaine Perkins with sports. This is the 8 o'clock news with Marsha Bradwin and Jay Scott, Bill Austin with the weather, Rick Monday with sports, and the entire Emmy Award winning Channel 11 news team. Hello, everybody. I'm Marsha Brandwin. Welcome to the premiere edition of our 8 o'clock news. We are happy to have you with us. And I'm Jay Scott. Our top story tonight, record temperatures and fires scorching the Southland. See you later. Good night. So long. <laughs> We hope you've enjoyed John Wayne and the Fighting Seabees. Join us tomorrow at 8 for The Duke on the Sands of Iwo Jima. News 13 is next. Tuesday, John Wayne. Channel 13, KCOP, Los Angeles. A Chris Craft television station. From Los Angeles, News 13, with Tim Malloy, Wendy Rutledge, Sports with Mike Chamberlain, and Mike McKay's Weather. Good evening and welcome to News 13. At the top of our news... Brush fires rage as temperatures soar. They're You're welcome. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. That's News 13 for tonight. Thanks for being with us. And we'll be back tomorrow night. Join us then. Good night. Good night. Good night.